What's going on guys? Fishing a flood tide down here in South Carolina. Actually just got done pouring rain, which is probably a good thing because it kind of cooled things down off a bit. It's been pretty hot here the last couple days and um, water temperature has been pushing almost 90 degrees, which is not too redfish friendly, but hey, let's see what we can get into. So guys, I got my trusty eight weight Nautilus. Eight weight's got title. It's a little fiddler crab fly that I tie up. It's been money on these flood tides lately. That weed guard is a must. Let's get to it. Man, I guess you just spit it. Fuck, man. that tailor when we first got out here uh, he was actually there's two of them tailing next to each other uh, and he ate made a cast he ate but then he spit the hook thankfully about 10 15 minutes later that second one came rolling through um, and we were able to get tight so we're at about peak high tide now let's see if we can get into it so basically what I mean when I'm saying fishing a flood tide for you guys who don't know um, around new moons full moons we have abnormally high tides that push the water up onto these Spartina flats uh, and the redfish can come up on here, get filler crabs, get food, and, and get out. Now, that only happens a couple times a month, and typically during the warmer months when the filler crabs are out and they're not burrowed. Um, what you wanna look for is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a couple creeks right here that are pushing water onto the flat, um, and nine times out of 10, that's where these fish are coming in from and, and leaving out of. All right, guys, while well, I kind of still have some decent lighting, one last thing about fishing floods, this is not a numbers game. You're not gonna come out here and catch five, six, seven, eight fish, especially just walking a flat, and uh, especially if you're not in a nice, fancy flats boat. But till next time, tie lines, people.